After spending 40,000 years to reach us, the brightest comet of 2021 will reach its closest point to Earth in a few hours, after which it will almost hit Venus before reaching its closest point to the Sun. Here are the details. NPR reports that Comet Leonard is about to pass Earth on December 12th before reaching its closest point to the Sun on January 3rd, exactly a year after it was first discovered by astronomer Greg Leonard. The comet is classified as an ultra-fast comet, but even at its incredible speed of 71 kilometers per second, it needed around 40,000 years to reach its sharp turn around the Sun, from its turning point billions of miles away in deep space. After January 3rd, it will start on its long journey back into deep space before returning in around 80,000 years from now. Comet Leonard's official name is C2021A1, and not much is known about its size or composition, although almost all comets are made up of ice and dust. It's this dusty ice, which is heated into dusty gas by the sun, that gives comets their massive and colorful tails, making them so much more visible and fun to watch than rocky asteroids. Comet Leonard's tail is already well-formed, and the tail will become bigger as it rounds the sun, but NASA says you'll still need binoculars to see it. You have to be at least 35 years old to remember the excitement of getting woken up in the early morning to go outside and behold the wonder of the bright tail of Halley's Comet filling the night sky. That was in 1986, but the good news is that Halley's Comet will be back in 2061. An enormous comet from the outskirts of the solar system is heading towards Earth. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein is a thousand times larger than the average comet and it's approaching at a high rate of speed. Here are the details. Live Science reports that a huge comet that's so large it's classified as a minor planet has been spotted beyond a Uranus and is coming toward Earth for a very rare visit in 2031. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein is still far away and hard to see, but the current estimate is that its icy core is around 100 kilometers in diameter, which is extremely large for a comet. It'll make its closest approach in 2031, when it'll sail just outside of the orbit of our Sun's sixth planet, Saturn. Normal long-period comets take more than 200 years to complete an orbit around the Sun, but this one is estimated to take a whopping 5.5 million years to complete its orbit. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein comes from the Oort Cloud, a spherical cloud of icy objects framing our solar system at around 50,000 to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun, that's 100,000 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Scientists estimate this comet could itself be from as far away as 60,000 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Like all comets, this one will round the Sun and head off back to where it came from. Another comet that might have originated in the mysterious Oort cloud is Halley's Comet, which is visible from Earth every 75 years. Halley is therefore the only naked eye comet that can appear twice in a human lifetime. It last appeared over Earth in 1986 when it stood out clearly in the night sky. It will next appear in 2061. NASA created a fictional asteroid and set it on course to hit Earth six months after being discovered by humanity's early warning systems. Earth's scientists worked together to stop the doomsday rock from hitting Earth, and this is what happened. NASA reports that it recently hosted a test to see if Earth's best scientists could stop an asteroid from hitting the planet. In the scenario, a fictitious asteroid was detected six months before it would hit Earth. The participants in the simulation considered various missions in which spacecraft could try to destroy the asteroid or deflect it off its path. Most options to deflect an asteroid, such as deflection via a high-energy impact or a gravity tractor or an ion beam shepherd, work by only slightly nudging the targeted space rock. If performed far enough in advance, that small nudge builds up to become a large shift in position by the time the asteroid gets near Earth, but participants concluded that such missions wouldn't be able to get off the ground in the short amount of time before impact. However, they found that using a rocket to deliver a nuclear explosion on or next to the asteroid could save the Earth. Unfortunately, a nuclear bomb would only be able to make a difference if the asteroid was relatively small compared to the giants that had hit Earth in the past. Currently, Earth's early warning system does inspire confidence. Comet Neowise, a 4.8 kilometer wide chunk of space ice, passed within 64 million kilometers of Earth in July. Nobody knew this comet existed until a NASA space telescope discovered it approaching only four months earlier. In 2013, a meteor about 20 meters in diameter entered Earth's atmosphere without warning. It exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, creating a shockwave that broke windows and damaged buildings across the region. More than 1,400 people were injured. 
Scientists discover that an ancient city near where the biblical city of Sodom would have been was destroyed centuries ago by a meteor that exploded above the city and burned it to a cinder. Here are the details. In a study published in the journal Scientific Reports, researchers showed that the ancient city of Tal el Hammam was struck by a massive airborne explosion with the power of 1,000 atom bombs. The city was completely destroyed by the resulting firestorm and pressure waves. Its remains are located in Jordan, near Israel's Dead Sea. Researchers believe the fiery explosion from up high struck around 3,600 years ago and might have given rise to the story of Sodom, which according to biblical text was destroyed as punishment for immorality. The scientists say evidence strongly suggests that the city was struck from above by a meteorite mostly composed of ice, which exploded in the air because of very high temperatures caused by friction in Earth's atmosphere. City dwellers who saw the explosion would have been blinded instantly. Clothing and wood burst into flames immediately. Swords, spears, and mud bricks melted as the city was engulfed in flames. The shock wave that followed blew apart the buildings, causing charred bricks to rain down on villages many miles away. The researchers said none of the 8,000 people or any animals within the city survived. Their bodies were torn apart and their bones blasted into small fragments. A minute after the explosion, the shockwave reached the city of Jericho, 22 kilometers away. It blew Jericho's walls down and the city burned to the ground. The soil around Tal el Hammam was also drenched with salt and could not be farmed for hundreds of years. NASA is tracking a mile-wide asteroid that will whiz past Earth in March. Here is what you need to know. A large asteroid named 231937-2001F032, or simply 2001F032, classified as potentially hazardous by NASA, will zoom past Earth on March 21st, according to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. The asteroid is possibly traveling at a speed of 124,000 kilometers per hour or 77,000 miles per hour, according to the center's database. Using data from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, SpaceReference.org writes that the asteroid is probably between 0.767 kilometers to 1.714 kilometers in diameter, making it larger than 97% of all asteroids. This is very roughly comparable in size to the Golden Gate Bridge, which is 2.7 kilometers long. At 1.7 kilometers, which is roughly equal to 1.1 miles, it would be more than twice as tall as the world's tallest man-made structure, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. 2001 FO32's orbit is highly elliptical. It travels around the sun once every 810 days, coming as close as 0.3 astronomical units and reaching as far as 3.11 astronomical units from the sun. According to NASA's Asteroid Watch, it will pass Earth at a distance of 1.2 million miles, or more than 2 million kilometers on March 21st. That's more than five times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The asteroid was first detected on March 23, 2001, according to Earth Sky, by telescopes in New Mexico that are part of the Lincoln Near-Earth Asteroid Research, or LINEAR, program. The MIT program is funded by NASA and the U.S. Air Force. NASA classifies a near-Earth object, either a comet or an asteroid, as a potentially hazardous object if its orbit brings it within 7.5 million kilometers of Earth's orbit and it is greater than 140 meters in size. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, as of February 15th, some 25,146 near-Earth objects had been discovered. The latest data on the center's website shows that 9,562 of these were 140 meters or larger in size, and 888 were estimated to be larger than one kilometer. By comparison, the massive Chicxulub asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs is estimated to have been 11 kilometers to 81 kilometers in diameter. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.